people are complaining that their rear diff is shutting off and turning their all-wheel drive car into a front-wheel drive car. All-wheel drive went off. You spent all this money on your Focus RS, you're excited for the, the whole platform. It's a performance-oriented car that's all-wheel drive, and all of a sudden it doesn't like all-wheel drive anymore, and now you're a front-wheel drive car, so it's not as much fun. To really test this rigorously and make sure that it is flawless, that's why we're taking it out of house and going up to a track and testing it. The plan is to push it as hard as we can to try to get the factory drivetrain to fail and go into thermal protection and then put our parts on it and do the same repeatable test and not have it fail. The whole project as a whole is just sort of beyond exciting because we're taking a known problem that Ford has and trying to create a solution. You know, we know that we're making the best product possible. We want to control the data. We know what we need to look for. We know how to make the products better. So we need to actually take the car that is our uh, R&D car, put our parts on it, go out and actually test it with our own people, our own engineers and our own staff, bring it back to make better products. It's all uh, a more efficient way of doing it. It's months in the making, all coming up to this one day to see if it's actually gonna work. We've taken the big leap. We've done it first. We're actually putting the car through its paces. We know it's a known problem, and we're taking it head on. We've done a bunch of research, a bunch of testing, had a lot of failures and a lot of uh, good ways to fix this problem. And being the first, you do have to break a lot of eggs to make the omelet, and that's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>